Okay, good afternoon. Pattern five. Right. We're going to use the Cool Kids student book, page seven today. But <clears throat> first, we need to do a little bit of listening. So, we'll start over here. <clears throat> now, most of the time when we talk or when we read in English, then when we speak or when we read, usually the first thing we talk about is the subject, and then after the subject, we have the verb. So the subject is just who or what we're talking about, and then the verb, most of the time, tells us what the subject is doing. Okay? So the first thing we talk about is who or what is the subject, and then following that, next we have the verb which says what the subject is doing. Now the subject is going to be one of these. The subject will be I or you, or if we're talking about one person, a man or a boy, he, one person, a girl or a lady, she, or one thing, a cat or a dog, is it. And then I and other people is we, and they, many, many people. So those are our subjects. Now, what makes English a little bit difficult is when we put the subject and the verb together, we sometimes change the spelling of the verb when we change the time. If I'm talking about today or yesterday or tomorrow, then we will change the spelling of the verb when we change the time. And that is called changing the tense. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the subject and the verb going together. Okay, so let's go <coughs> over here. Now, what we're talking about is now, today, or what we call the present simple tense. The present simple tense, we use that when the verb is telling us something that you do many times, every day, every week, every month. What we call a habit or something we do regularly. Okay, and that is called the present simple, or sometimes the simple present, it's the same. Now, when we use the simple present, when we're talking about things we do many times, then if we say yes, we just have the subject and the base verb. The base verb is the verb you learn when you're in P1, P2. Fly, eat, jump, drink, sing, dance, sit, talk. Okay? So when we want to say yes with the present simple, things we do many, many times, then it's just the subject and the base verb. So here's four base verbs. Speak, like speak a language, play, play football, have, have a pet, or read, read a book. So if I want to say yes, I would just say, I speak, you play, we have, or they read. But with the simple present tense, if our subject is one boy or one girl or one thing, then we would put S or ES on the end of the base verb. So I would say, I speak, but he speaks. I play, but she plays. I read, but he reads. And have is a difficult one because we change have to has. Only if the subject is he or she or it. If the subject is I, you, we or they, then we just use the base verb. Now, if we want to say no, using the simple present tense, then we have our subject, and then we have do not, or don't, and our base verb. So, 
I don't speak Italian. I don't play the piano. I don't have a Ferrari. I don't read the dictionary. But again, look, if we say no, and our subject is he, she, or it, then we say does not, and the base verb. So it would be, I do not speak, but he does not speak. They do not play, she does not play. Okay? I do not have, but she does not have. They do not read, she does not read. Now notice, when we say no, the change is do to does if the subject is he, she, it. We don't change the base verb. We only change the base verb when we're saying yes. Quite difficult to remember. Now, let's see if we can do some of this. I'm going to look at page seven in your student book. I'm going to play you the CD. We've got two students, Trisha, the girl, and Peter, the boy. And let's see which of these does all the things on the top of page seven. And who's there playing basketball? They're Trisha and Peter. They're my best friends. Are they older than you? No, they're 10, like me. I like Peter's brown eyes. He's very handsome. He's very intelligent. He speaks English and Spanish. What about Trisha? She has great blue eyes. She speaks English and French. And she loves reading. She reads every day before she goes to bed. She also likes sports. We play soccer on Sundays with Peter and other friends. Wow, do you watch the games on TV too? No, after the game, Peter comes to my house. Peter doesn't have a pet, so he loves playing with my dog, Sunny. Look, here's a photo with Sunny and Peter playing. Okay, so when you listen to the CD, we can say Peter speaks Spanish, Peter has brown eyes, Trisha speaks French, Trisha reads every day. Two of them, we can use both. Both means two people. So Trisha and Peter play football and Peter doesn't have a pet. So let's see if we can do this question here. Okay. Right. So, Peter, French? No. So, you're going to say, Peter is a boy, he? So, we're saying no. So, it's going to be he, Peter, does not speak. Subject is one boy, he? He does not speak. He does not speak French. Okay, number two, play football or soccer if you're American. Two people is the same as they, and we're saying yes. So it's just they play football. They play soccer, they play football. Number three, who are we talking about? Trisha, she, books, we use read with books, yes or no? Answer is yes. So we're going to say yes. The subject is she. So you would say Trisha reads with an S. Trisha reads books. Because the subject is she, we put an S on the base verb. So it would be Trisha reads books. Okay, number four. Peter a pet? No. So we're going to say no. Our subject is Peter. So it's going to be he, Peter, does not have a pet. Our base verb is have. Peter does not have a pet. Next one, Spanish. Spanish 
and Trisha. Answer is no. So, who we're we talking about? Trisha, she. We're going to say no, does not. And then the verb to go with Spanish, Trisha does not speak. So we just use the base verb. Trisha does not speak Spanish. It's the same as number one, isn't it, really? And the last one, Peter, brown eyes. Answer is yes. So we're saying yes, the subject is he, Peter. So we're going to change the base verb. And the base verb have, if the subject is he, becomes has. He has, Peter has, brown eyes. Okay. See if you can do those five questions after listening to the video. Try those.